Hello and welcome to my channel Programming Ninja. In today's video, we're going to learn how to deploy a Spring Boot application to AWS Cloud. So I hope you already have a Spring Boot application created and you're wondering how to deploy this application so that anyone on the internet can access your application, can use your application. So you don't have to worry you could just deploy your application to AWS, which is a very popular cloud service platform in just five minutes. You don't need to create any kind of virtual server, nothing. In just five minutes, you'll be able to deploy your Spring Boot application to cloud for everyone to access. So without wasting any time, let's just quickly see how we can deploy this application. So I already have a basic Spring Boot application created. And uh, the first and foremost thing that you have to do is to navigate to the application.properties file, which is under src slash main slash resources. And yeah, there is application properties file. So firstly, we'll have to set the server.port property to be 5000. Because uh, in Elastic Beanstalk, if you want to deploy any application to Elastic Beanstalk, you must have the port as 5000. If you set any other value of the port, then the application will not run. So it's a must required property to have. And as soon as you're done with this, uh, we'll create a jar file of a project, which we'll use to deploy our application to AWS. Now to generate this jar file, we click on this Maven icon on the top right corner. Then just navigate to this install button. Now double click on this install button. And the process is started. It will just take almost 10 to 15 seconds to generate the char file. Now as you can see that the char file is generated, the process is complete. Now the next step is to locate this char file inside of file explorer. So I'll click right, I'll right click on my project and then open it inside the Explorer. So the name of my project is demo AWS and inside it, I have a target subdirectory. Inside the target subdirectory, I can see that my jar file is created, which is named as demo AWS. Now we're going to use this jar file to deploy our application to AWS. Next, we're going to search for AWS Management Console in Google. And if you already have an account in AWS, then you could just sign into your account. But if you don't have an account, then you could create an AWS account within five to 10 minutes. It won't take more than five minutes. So if you don't have an account, just quickly create an account and then sign into your account. Now, when you're done with the signing in, then quickly search for Elastic Beanstalk Service in AWS. Now inside the Elastic Beanstalk service, we have to create an environment on which our application would be deployed. So just quickly click on this create environment button and we just have to do some configuration for our application to be deployed. Uh, let's just give a quick name to our application, Stamo app. And then we'll have to select the platform on which we are going to uh, run our application. So obviously we are using, uh, we're deploying a Spring Boot application. So our language is Java. So we'll choose a platform to be Java. And then you have to choose the version of Java that you're using. And since I'm using Java 11, I'll choose Coretto 11. Now the next step is to upload your code to AWS. So we'll just quickly give a version label and then upload the jar file that we just created to AWS. So as you can see that my jar file is uploaded now. Now click on this next button. Choose an EC2 key pair, which is already there by default. Here you don't have to make any kind of changes to the configuration. Just click on the next button. 
Now we just have to select a security group. So security groups basically act as a firewall to your application. They define rules for who can access your application. So there's always a default security group created by AWS. So we'll just click on this default security group for now and then move ahead with our configuration. Here we have to select basic health monitoring because we don't want any kind of cost to incur. And since we don't want any managed uh, platform updates to our application, we'll just unclick this button. And then just move ahead. Here's a summary of our configurations and we'll just quickly uh, click on the submit button and as you can see the pop-up that our elastic beanstalk is launching our environment so this will take about five to ten minutes let's just wait for it to be created now as you can see the environment is successfully launched now we'll just click on this url to access our application and here we can see that our application works properly. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. And if you found this video helpful, just give me a like and share this video with your friends. And to watch more such videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Programming Ninja.